So what do you do when you have a lot of weight to lose? How do you approach this situation when you have 30 or 40 or even 50 pounds or even more to lose before you reach your goal. Maybe you're sitting at around 30% body fat and your goal is to get down to 15% body fat and maybe eventually down to 10% body fat. And this is a very different situation compared to someone who's at 15% wanting to get down to 10 and it requires some other considerations, it requires some different strategies and a different mindset and there are certain things you need to expect basically to know what's going to happen. And that's why I wanted to create this video because I see a lot of people struggling with how to get started, struggling with strategies, how to approach this. And I actually see a lot of nonsense out there, people saying that this is gonna be easier, or it's not gonna be as hard or, or whatever else out there. Look, this is gonna be a very hard journey, right? So you're gonna have to put a lot of effort. It's gonna last a much longer time compared to someone getting from 15 to 10% body fat. Going from 15 to 10 is not easy at all. It's very, very difficult. But if you're going down from 30 to 15, you will have to change your lifestyle dramatically and it's gonna require quite a lot of hard work as any other goal worth having in your life. So I'm gonna tell you the truth. I'm gonna tell you exactly what this is gonna take. And now it's up to you whether you wanna apply this or not. And you are in control. You are in control over the results you get. You are in control over what happens to you. And I hope you take on this advice and that you implement this advice in your life to finally see that transformation. And by the way, if you're new here, my name is Mario Tomic. If you'd like to learn more about fitness, nutrition, how to live a healthy lifestyle, consider subscribing below. Also make sure to hit that like button on this video if you really enjoyed the video. And also make sure to enable notifications by hitting the bell icon to get notified when new videos come out. And now let's dive into it. So to start off, I got some good news for you and some bad news. So the good news is that you're gonna be able to lose weight and body fat a lot quicker. So that's good because you're gonna be able to see some really massive progress and fast progress on the scale. It's not uncommon to see 1% or 1.5% of your body weight drop per week. So if you're, let's say 200 pounds, you're looking at two pounds per week, even up to three or even four pounds in some cases. And this can be very encouraging. So losing weight quicker in those first couple of weeks, those first couple of months can be very encouraging and motivating for you to keep going. So that's really good because when you have a lot of body fat stored, your body can release a lot of that body fat and get rid of it. Now, the bad news is that of course, it's since you ended up in the situation where you have 30, 40 or 50 pounds to lose or even more, you've picked up a lot of bad habits along the way. So you didn't accidentally end up in this place without any bad habits. So you picked up a lot of things that need to be rewired and you will have to dramatically change your lifestyle. And that's really the truth. Like you have to start changing the way you eat the way you decide which foods to eat, the food that you keep around the house, in the office, how you move your activity levels, those things will have to change. So you will have to change your lifestyle in order to really make this not just a diet, but actually a permanent result that you can keep on for many decades to come and for the rest of your life so you can be in good shape. So the good news is that this will work really well for you and you will be seeing great results. But of course, the bad news is that there is a sacrifice. You will have to give up certain things that you're doing. Not completely, in a lot of cases, you can still keep a lot of things in there, but you will definitely have to start thinking like someone who is lean already and how they would live their lives. So a lot of the habits that you have right now that are keeping you at this weight or that were keeping you at this weight, you probably aren't even conscious about. So you will have to audit your behavior and really get basically real with yourself. So do a reality check. Where's that food coming from? Where are those calories coming from? How can you start tweaking things? How can you start adjusting things to get more activity, to start putting exercise in your routine and really start prioritizing this? And there's just no way around this. That's the truth. Like, so there's no way around a lifestyle change. It's the lifestyle that results in an extra 30, 40, 50 pounds. It's not some one little thing. It's the whole lifestyle that typically results in this state that you're in right now. So you do have to change that lifestyle. And this is a good thing because it's going to make the result permanent as you rebuild new habits and those new habits will eventually make this completely automated. So there are good and bad things about this. Another good thing is that you're gonna be able to fit in some maybe your old clothes or things that you have already. The bad news is that if you get some clothes right now, you probably uh, will not be able to wear them. After a while, they're gonna be too big for you. So there's a lot of things like that, like a lot of small things happening. But the first thing I really wanna point out here, this is gonna take a lot of hard work to change those habits because a lot of this is happening completely unconsciously and it's, something that you don't wanna judge yourself or be too hard on yourself if you do fall off track because a lot of times when you do fall off, it's really that 
unconscious habit that you built up and that you've cultivated over 5, 10, 15 years, in some cases 20 years, that you really have to rewire now. So have some patience with yourself as you undergo this lifestyle change and you're gonna go really, really far. Now the second thing you need to know when you got a lot of weight to lose is to not fall for the trap of trying to lose it all at once and thinking too far into the future and really trying to get this whole 30, 40 pounds off in one single go. And this is how a lot of people burn out and end up actually falling off and then end up regaining the weight. A better approach in a lot of cases is to simply chunk this total amount of weight that you're gonna lose into different phases. So for example, you lose the first 15 pounds and then you maintain for a couple of weeks or for about a couple of months in some cases. So by doing this, you're gonna be able to practice maintaining and actually learning how to maintain because probably what you've already tried is some diet or some kind of approach where you've lost the weight but you couldn't keep it off. So by embedding some maintenance phases into your whole journey, you're gonna be able to learn how to keep that weight off. And you can chunk these phases, but depending on until you feel mentally fatigued or burnt out as you're dieting. So a lot of people don't have any problems losing the first 15 or 20 pounds, but then they start hitting a wall, let's say 20 pounds in when things get really, really difficult. So that would be an ideal time to actually start planning for a maintenance phase, especially if you gotta lose, let's say 50 or 60 pounds. There's nothing wrong with breaking that into chunk of 20 pounds, 20 pounds, and then the remaining 10 or 15 until you reach your goal. And yes, this will make the whole process a lot longer, but it also is gonna make the progress a lot more predictable, and it's gonna also make the journey a lot more enjoyable because you're not gonna get too far into the cut where you have to be really digging and being super mentally fatigued. And there's a lot of diet fatigue that accumulates over time if you're dieting for years, which often is the case when you try to really get rid of all that weight at once. Because you are looking at many, many, many months of dieting and there's just really no way around it. I mean, I wish that you could just lose this in a month or two. I, I would just be the first person to tell you how, but there's just no way to get rid of that much weight, 40, 50 or 60 pounds in two months and do it in a healthy way, right? So we gotta be considering how your health is gonna do over time. And also, the more you actually take the time to properly plan this out and the way you structure it, the better the habit building part of this will be. So you will actually have that real lifestyle at the end of it, which will ensure that you're never gonna regain the weight. And that's really the most important thing. Many, many, many people lose 20, 30, 40, 50 pounds, but they don't keep it off because it was a never a lifestyle change. It was done through some kind of crazy supplements or some kind of crazy fasting regime or something like that where it was taken to the extreme. And I have nothing against fasting. Something like intermittent fasting can be a great tool for you to help you control your appetite, eat less. Of course, you have to be in a caloric deficit in order to lose the body fat. So all these tools that first off, make you less hungry or help you organize your meals around the day to help you stay in that caloric deficit would be very helpful. But just the fact that you're in a caloric deficit for many, many, many months will generate a lot of fatigue. So in a lot of cases, when you have 40, 50 or 60 pounds, think of it in phases, think of it as separate goals and then really tackle one at a time. By doing that, you're really setting yourself up for success and you're much, much more likely to eventually reach the end goal, which is gonna be sometimes that when you will be then happier and you will actually be able to see what's the next goal. And in a lot of cases, like you don't even know what the obstacles and what things you're gonna be dealing with later on until you get to this goal. So it's kind of like climbing a different mountain where one mountain you climb it and you see the taller mountain afterwards. Then you climb that one, you see another tall one afterwards. So this is often what happens with the fitness journey, so you often set new goals based on the goals you've already achieved rather than trying to think too far ahead in the future without even having a, an idea of how the journey is gonna go. So I highly recommend phases and I highly recommend you to start thinking about planning this out properly and thinking more long-term rather than short-term. Now the third thing you need to know when you got a lot of weight to lose is the best practices for handling this type of situation so you're not making the exact same mistakes as everybody else. So you don't fall for what the mainstream fitness is telling everybody to do a ton of classes or a ton of cardio and running when you have 40, 50 pounds extra so you don't get hurt and injured 
and generally you try to outrun a bad diet and that's not a good idea because you're not gonna be able to do that and you're not gonna be able to lose the amount of weight that you wanna lose and not gonna see progress. So really understanding if how most people fail at this will help you then not make those mistakes. So for example, doing lots of cardio in classes and ignoring weight training and ignoring nutrition. If you do that, you're setting yourself up for failure. The other example is just doing nutrition, just trying to crash diet or just trying to restrict yourself, but then ignoring resistance training and ignoring activity levels. That is also a recipe for disaster. So really understanding that there's a lot of mistakes out there and then educating yourself on what those mistakes are so you're not repeating those mistakes. So using the approach, combinations of resistance training, handling your nutrition, educating yourself on calories, macros, intermittent fasting, good food choices, how to sleep better, like all those things are very, very important. And you have to start doing all of them at once if you want to see the best results. And the fact that you see the best results will keep you more motivated so you're gonna keep seeing those results and you're gonna have that good upward spiral. If you start ignoring things and selectively picking the things that are the easiest to do or things that require the least brain power, which we do as humans, I know we're lazy, we're default state, shut off the brain, don't think about it too much. And that's something that is very appealing when you do these classes, when you do things like restrictive diets, we don't have to think about food choices, you can just literally shut off your brain and then just drink some juices or whatever prepackaged food, but that's not really sustainable. That's not really a lifestyle that you can really do for many, many years to come. So you will eventually have to raise your level of knowledge. So you wanna start getting into that. Educate yourself on how to do some basic resistance training programs. Learn about strength training. Learn about nutrition. As I said, calories, macros. You have to understand these things because this is what you're doing with your body every single day. You're putting food in your body. You need to understand what those foods are, how much you need, when to eat them, how to best organize that around the day, experiment with a little bit of fasting. So all those things and the fact that you're learning about this will also make you more knowledgeable, more passionate, and also improve your decision making. Because at the end of the day, what are you gonna get rid of this weight or not will depend on the quality of your decisions over time. And if your decision quality is low, you're most likely gonna start making the same decisions as you used to, which basically got you in the situation where you are now. And a good way to compare it is, let's say you're a month, or two into your fitness journey, you wanna lose body fat, compare how similar your lifestyle is now to how your lifestyle was a year ago when you were struggling with losing weight. If it's very, very similar, you're probably doing something wrong. You probably haven't gone through a proper audit, you probably haven't made those changes in your training, your nutrition, sleep, and other things that will lead to the outcome that you wanna to get to. And this is why I'm such a big fan of education. I really believe that everybody should know how to properly train, how to properly eat, how to sleep, how to recover, how to build habits, how to understand your own mind so your mind is not sabotaging yourself. When those limiting beliefs come, when you lose the first 20 pounds and you still have 30 to go and then your brain tells you, oh, you're fine, you don't have to work hard anymore, you got, you got it, you know, just chill out. Or when someone else tells you from your life that you're already good enough or that you're too skinny or that you're not, let's say you have too much weight or too big, too small. I always joke with my clients about this is that for the first five years in my fitness journey, they were telling me I'm too skinny. Now for the second half, for the second five years, they're telling me I'm too big. People will always be talking. So developing this resilience over time as well and just acknowledging that a lot about this journey is also psychological, not just what you know or not just what you do, it's also what's in here, will really gets you very, very far. And that's why I'm so passionate about creating this content to help you and to re-educate you actually of how to do this right so you're not making the common mistakes like everybody in the gym. I've been in so many gyms around the world. I've traveled the whole world. I've seen people make the same mistakes in every country, believe it or not, the same mistakes are being made. So you are here. I'm very fortunate to have you here to be able to really learn from me because I, I wanna help you. And at the same time, you wanna make sure that you're applying this advice, not just learning and then just letting it just slide and not actually taking action on it. So I hope you apply this, you take action. Again, I'm gonna leave a video here at the end which is gonna help you with more strategies, give you more tactics about nutrition and training. So check out that video. Other than that, it also if you wanna work with me as your mentor and as your coach, if you don't wanna do this alone, if you wanna have some hands-on support and really work with someone to help you transform your body, I'm gonna leave a link in the description below where you can see some of the results I've been getting with my clients who have 30, 40, 50 pounds to lose and they've transformed their bodies. So you can check out some of those results, see if something resonates there with you and then you can reach out to work with me if you want to. Other than that, I will see you in that next video.